Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I'm going to be using a large sentiment on a clean and simple card. I've got some great Penny Black products. This is a set called Kisses for My Sweet and also one of my favourite sentiment sets at the moment which is called Birthday Love. It has some really fun sentiments on it but they're quite large and that can be a little bit daunting when you're using them on a card. So I'm starting off by inking up the one of the sentiments I've chosen with my Misty and using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I am going to be doing some Copic colouring. So what I've done is actually left that stamp in place because I want to re-stamp it later on. The image itself I'm going to stamp with the Memento ink as well and this one's called London Fog and that way I know that both my inks are Copic friendly because I want to do some alcohol marker colouring behind the sentiment and I thought this would be a really fun way to kind of embrace the sentiment and colour an image and join the two stamp sets together and have a little bit of fun as well. So because my image is behind the sentiment, it's not like no line colouring because you are going to be able to see the lines but I did want everything just to be that little bit lighter. It's almost like this subtle picture in the background of the card and I wanted to keep it nice and clean and simple on the way. I have used these sentiments in other ways as well like beside an image and as focal point but I just thought this is a little bit different. So if you've watched me here I am sort of sticking to the lighter tones, the zero colours and I'm adding colour very carefully but I'm also removing it. If I think it's getting a little bit darker or it's a bit light and I can't blend it out properly that's where the zero marker really comes in handy. I can actually use it to remove some of the colour or to help the colours that I've added to blend a little bit better. So even though I am using really light colours I am still adding some shading but <laughs> only just a little bit. It's kind of really subtle. I didn't want this to be perfectly coloured in the background because I actually want the sentiment to be the focal point and then the images to kind of, you know, still be coloured well but not perfectly, if that makes sense, just with a little bit of um, a more kind of simple style. Right. Normally I would have coloured my faces first on my Copic, um, when I'm Copic colouring but today I didn't do that because I wasn't actually sure how much depth or how much colour to add and then I couldn't come back and change it afterwards. So that's why I've done the main body of the images first today so that way I know how light I need to keep my face and hair colouring. Alright, I'm going to leave you with the rest of this now it won't take me too much longer. I have kept it in real time colouring today just for something different and because it really didn't take me too long to do. And I'll link all of the colours over at my blog and that'll be all in the description below. I'll be back real soon.
Okay, so I am going to re-stamp the sentiment again. I've left the actual stamp in place on my Misty and that's one of the best things about the Misty is that you can do that. I know that I'm going to be able to stamp it perfectly over where it was stamped the first time. And I've used the Onyx Black ink this time because I wanted it to be nice and bold. And I knew I couldn't use that the first time because I was going to be doing the Copic colouring and it doesn't play nice with my alcohol markers. So now I'm going to actually add some fun foam to the back of my panel. It has the image and the sentiment on it. And I've just got some scraps of fun foam. And I like to keep these scraps when I'm cutting out, especially the word dies that I actually put up on my front of my cards. I find it's a really good way to use them up. And then on the front of my card itself, because I actually find it really difficult to add the ATG tape to the fun foam, I just actually add it to the directly to the card base. And this is a top fold card. And that's pretty much it for my card today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.